Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. We are starting the second half of the season, 2027-2028. We just finished the transfer window and I thought I'd come back for the first match in our expanded stadium. So we're back to Edgar Street uh, with just over 7,000 seats and probably going to sell it out. I'm probably going to beat our record uh, for attendance and everything else. So... I'm going to take you through the transfers that we managed to do. I didn't actually manage to get a new striker. That's the only thing that we didn't do for money reasons. We didn't have enough budget to get a, new, a better striker in. But I'll take you through the rest. So, I'll heading over to the squad. We have the same two uh, goalkeepers, Renato Bellucci. And uh, where is Tyler? Tyler Dickinson, he's the only player that's been with us the entire time, I believe, as far as I can remember. So they still are with us. Right side of defense didn't change. We still have Cole and Ethan. Um, and then the left side of the fence, only a small change. We Obviously, we've had Reese for a while now. Um... And then earlier in the year, we had, if I go to transfer history, where is he? Uh, Jefferson Valencia. He actually left really, really early on in the, um, in the season. He played a few matches for us. And then in September, he left because he signed a permanent contract with Stoke. So he played six matches for us and then he left. And luckily... I had kind of because because um, Jefferson was on a short term loan. It was only until the end of November on loan. Luckily, I had already thought of a, a another guy that could step into Jefferson's shoes from November onwards, and I had stashed him in the end of twenty ones. Uh, so we just brought him up early. Um, that was Jensen Jones. So he's been with us since the beginning of the season, really. But he was promoted to the senior team in September. And he's been doing really okay for us. So that's nice. Central of defense, we've had a few changes. Some through force and some because, well, pretty much all of them through force, to be fair. Um, so, two things happened. Obviously, we had uh, short loans uh, on one, maybe two two players in central defense. And also, Sony, or Sunny, or whatever you want to call him, wanted to leave, was adamant he wanted to leave, so we sold him. Um, so, to replace Sony, we have uh, Elias de Bono. Uh, he's on loan, not a permanent deal. We don't, we don't, we haven't really made any permanent deals, pretty much. Um, so he's in, and the other player, because we had uh, a loan that also expired in the same position, in the wide centre back, we have William Thompson, all loan from Barnsley. Uh, we sold. I'll actually, I'll sell. You, I'll tell you about the football players that we sold in a minute. Um, and then in the non-nonsense centre back, we have um, where is he? We've just brought up back from the under twenty ones. I can't see him. Oh, there we go. Cam Candola. So we basically had this player before. He made a small improvement, so we brought him back up from the under twenty ones to fit into. Matt Ross's space that he left. We I actually made another loan as well in case Cam wouldn't fit into the team. Braden Clark. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I can't terminate the loan. Okay. Well, it's stuck with us. I've I stashed him in the in the twenty ones um, for now anyway, so he can just live there. But we, yeah, we have that player spare if something happens. So that's good. Uh, and then in the uh, central defender role, we still have the same two. We still have Owen Gordon, and we still have Max. Max Stitch. Okay. And then defensive midfield, we have one who play, Gustavo Cuellar. Uh, he's old, probably retiring. Uh, he's on loan anyway, so... Uh, but yeah, he's on loan with us. He's been Colombia, Brazil, Saudi, and then back to Colombia. He's just basically for finishing up his his career. Uh, I wanted to sell P. 
Peter Herring, which was the, pl the player that he came to replace. But nobody's bought him, so we'll, we'll keep on trying. We'll uh, have to reduce the price, probably, a lot. Uh, but we'll keep on trying to sell him, see if we can offload him. Save a little bit on um, the wage budget and so on. Um, and then the other player in that position, it's still Alistair Clifford, so we got him on a permanent deal earlier in the season, having been on one with us before. So that's good. On the midfield, no, no changes. Ismail is still with us. And the veteran player, Herland Shala, still with us as well. He's probably going to retire at the end of the season. Rich James is going to retire as well, I just noticed that. We have a few players that will retire at the end of the season, so um, we'll watch out for that. Left side, sorry, right side of attack, we still have the same two. Well, no we don't. Uh, we have two players that were part of the squad, but we actually lost one. Alejandro Lorenzo is still with us on a, on a loan. We loaned him out at the beginning of the season. We had another player that we had on loan, but his loan finished as well. He was actually a very good player. Tatenda Milias, but he didn't actually do much with us, which is bizarre, in fact. Uh, not had a great season. I did try to get him on loan again, but it didn't happen. Uh, so what I ended up doing is swapping over Nathan from the left to the right. Um, so Nathan... Um, in fact, I think we did this before with Nathan when he was with us on loan in 2025-2026. So he's been swapped over to the right. And then I brought in for the left, Brooklyn Mfonku. Um Yeah, he's with us on loan from Watford, originally from City. So, and we still have uh, Riley Owen. Riley Owen still with us on that left side. Attack, I wanted to get a sub, like someone else for Danny Johnson's place. He's been doing okay, but bless him, he's showing, showing a little bit of his age. Um, but we couldn't have the money. Uh, just not possible, really. So we, we don't really have strong strikers. I wanted to get, see if he's still here in my search. No, he's gone. Ba, ba, ba. See if I can just do that. Will he come up? Yeah. Joan me. I wanted to get Joan me just for a season on loan. But um yeah, it wasn't wasn't meant to be. Uh but anyway. So yeah, so we have a striker issue. But other than that, this is the squad. And um yeah, we are doing okay. Uh URQ wise. Obviously, the team is a little bit disappointed that I didn't get uh, a new striker in. Because they, they also wanted this as well. Because we're struggling a little bit at the front. Uh, Season-wise, we are mid-table-ish. I think we're probably going to end up finishing mid-table-ish. So, we're not going to have a consecutive promotion, I don't think. I think it's pretty unlikely. Uh, we, have a, we have had a good, good run of um, consecutive promotions so far. But I think this year... Is not meant to be. Competitions wise, we got kicked out of the FA Cup on the first uh, round that we competed in, so the third round by Stoke City. And you know, got knocked out by Reading on a second round of the Carabao Cup, which we already knew about in the last episode. Um, finances wise, I managed to recoup some money. But yeah, we're not doing well because I don't think we're bringing in as much money as we're spending. Obviously, that's evident transfers out um, so I sold Sony Alder for 775 uh, thousand pounds to Livingston so he went to play in the Scottish Premiership fair enough uh, and managed to get a loan deal as well for George Yorpenda um, he's a um, central midfielder that we had laying around in the end of 21s not using so managed to make some money off him and then uh, we got this player poached and to be fair I don't mind it's okay probably not never gonna use him and we actually got uh, a quite a good deal for him um, what's that clause is in 
so if he makes an international appearance, you get another 100k. We'll get, receive 10k per game and profit on the transfers. Uh, we have some installments coming as well from Alter Freddy. Um Alter Free, sorry. Uh, as well. So so that's good. We didn't capitalize on these because uh, yeah, no, I don't think these are really gonna happen anyway. So um there we go, there we have it. Um that those are the transfers. We're playing against Ips Ipswich now in our brand new well, it's not brand new, in our expanded stadium, I should say. We are um, also in some better training and youth facilities. We've been updated to average as well. That was completed earlier uh, in, in, in sort of autumn time. But yeah, so we are now in um, 7,818 seats uh, with less seats that are seated but yeah we're gonna try this new stadium and see how we go already prepared the team so we just jump into it I'm not expecting to win this match um, against Ipswich I'm not even sure if we look at the table they're ever so slightly above us in the table um, and here we are back in Edgar Street. It doesn't really look that I can't remember f just from looking at it visually um, what the stadium looked like before. I think very similar to this. So I'm not sure what bit was expanded. Really. Let's go on to a full screen. There we go. Just updating my notes here. Um, yeah, so we we know we're not going to get promoted this season, unlikely. But um, having new facilities to be in and a new stadium will hopefully bring out some more income that we can. Um, I'm suspecting staying in the league will help us to attract better sponsorships and etc. So, I think I've got good hope that our finances will be sorted out eventually in the next season. And we'll be able to invest in some better players. The main issue is our players. If I show you the squad comparison tab, we are lacking in almost every single attribute. Um, so, not brilliant. Um, as far as the youth teams, I think I think the under twenty ones are struggling. Not as bad as last year, but I think they're still struggling. And I think the under eighteens is also struggling. I think, but more like in the middle of the table rather than being at the bottom of the table, like the under twenty ones. Better than last year, I think. Last year they struggled. Both teams struggled a lot. I think the under 21s didn't get a single draw. It was all losses. I think that's not the case this year. And um, if we don't have that, if we don't have a solid youth system that is performing well at their level, that also doesn't inspire great confidence in us being able to use those resources up in the senior squad this year we didn't have to rely so much on loans because we had a 
uh, especially at the beginning of the season, we had a very nicely proportioned amount of loans. So we had minimal, like maybe one or twice, once or twice, uh, brought up youth players into the into the senior squad. And now after the winter transfers, we had we do have a few more loans, but so far it's not been an issue. We've been able to um, just yeah, we've not been we've not been we've not been uh, forced to bring in youth players just yet. Although I think in this match, because we have some injuries pending, I think there might be one or two in the bench covering up for injuries. But that's because of injuries, not because of... Actually, no, we don't have any. That's... Oh yeah, no, we do have one. Uh, we have Max. Um, but that's because there are injuries, not because there are too many loans. one okay here we go just straight to Owen I have a feeling he might just have been offside so yeah so we definitely need to improve our attack um, that's one of the things we do need for next season but uh, it's quite likely that both our strikers both our strikers will retire um so it's going to be quite a change anyway next season regardless of what happens um i'm also starting to feel like we need goalkeepers soon we will need better goalkeepers soon i think Just to kind of organize that defense. I think these guys are fine, but... It's not an issue at the moment, really, per se. But, yeah. And then the midfield. Midfield, we have... It's it's fine. It's better than we've had historically. But I think if we want to get promoted, I think we need to have a much better midfield. I think compared to the rest of the league, that's where our the biggest our biggest weakness lies. Um, other than strikers, obviously, but actually strikers are pretty good at. They have some. It's it mainly the physicality that isn't great. Everything else, we the technique and everything else, is fine. It, but it's more that because they're both old, we don't have that physicality aspect. Okay. Of course, in terms of strikers, you've got Max Guthrie lurking around in the under-21s. Oh, that's a very unfortunate way of conceding a goal. Renato there just punching the ball rather than holding on to it, which led to a nice little strike from outside the box. Or just inside the box, maybe. Yeah, prediction is mid middle of the table and then recoup some funds in the off season through sponsorships and whatnot. Uh, it's a shame that we didn't really have much revenue from cups this year. Uh, just because we got thrown at the deep end in the third round uh, against quite a strong team. So we weren't able to like make much of of that. But we won't have a stadium to loan in to rent. So we won't have that expense, so they'll help. And we'll have our own stadium with 
everything and it seems like we're going to sell out every, almost every single time so there we go right so thanks so much for watching till the end i'll catch up with you again near the end of the season and uh we'll see uh how things are doing when i do that and um yeah we'll see um where we, we end up at the end of the season if um if we're able to to get closer to those promotion slots but my my prediction is no we won't be able to do that anyway thanks so much for watching until the end i appreciate that and i'll see you in the next one bye